are you tired of the hookup dating scene America has become? Have you practically given up on finding a traditional woman that truly wants to settle down with you for a life? Well, I promise you there is hope for you, but only if you play your cards right. In 2022, as all of you already know, Russia started a full-fledged war in Ukraine, and it has already influenced numerous areas around the globe. And dating is no exception, of course. The war escalated the interest of the men from different numerous countries in the world to Ukrainian women. Statistic claims that number of new members grows each day, as well as already registered ones becoming more and more active. At the same time, the dating websites say that since the beginning of the war, the number of Ukrainian female users has grown as well. So the reason for this is quite simple. Men from different countries see Ukrainian women as potential wives and, of course, believe that they are much more loyal and family-oriented, we are not going to say traditional, because we discussed with you yesterday what means traditionality, right? So we clarified this definition already with you. So then actually the women in their own countries, I mean European countries. And there is an interesting occurrence in this whole situation. The interest in such requests as Ukrainian brides, Ukrainian girls, and Ukrainian women for marriage has grown significantly. But men cannot uh, search of marriage, but in search of more truthful information about the situation in Ukraine. They also want to support some of you Ukrainian girls or women emotionally and financially if they need it. So why actually are Ukrainian women so popular worldwide? This situation is a consequence of the global changes that have taken place in recent years. And the traditional family values are now not so popular, you know, especially in Europe, right? And many young people in developed European countries don't want to get married and have children. Unfortunately, these stereotypes keep growing. At the same time, they see foreign guys, I mean, they see Ukrainian women as perfect wives and mothers who still value family traditions and are ready to start a family at any moment. So not like dating for 10, 15 years, like we uh, mentioned already in our previous live streams. So the war in Ukraine has not only had an impact on the dating scene, but also on the overall image of Ukrainian women. They are now seen as strong and independent individuals who are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. They are also seen as more loyal and family-oriented than women in other countries. All of these factors have contributed, of course, to the popularity of Ukrainian women worldwide. The psychological weight, guys, of the wars <clears throat> is innumerable traumas. As many as 100,000 almost soldiers killed or wounded, more than 8 million Ukrainian civilians forced out of their homes, mostly women, right, and turned into refugees, more than 10 million now throughout the country facing humanitarian disaster. So it's a real trauma, and trauma and romance, as you know, don't go together. When people are struggling to survive, they don't think about intimacy, about sex, because it's about pleasure, recreation. In war, there is no time for pleasure. There is no time for recreation. But at the same time, life is keep going on. And as all we know, human beings are the creatures who actually can get used to everything. In the case of Ukrainian women, uh, even to live under shillings or far away from their own homes sometimes apart from their spouses, from their husbands. A lot of Ukrainian women decided not to come back to Ukraine at all, as they can easily assimilate in European countries, and finally they realize that they don't have almost nothing what chains, what keeps them in motherland. Unfortunately, I talked to some of my friends who moved abroad. Some of them get back here, but due to absolutely financially non-stability, even poverty sometimes, humanitarian crisis, lack of job, absolutely increasingly increase of 
crisis makes actually people, especially women, single women, not married or single mothers, to live here, to survive here, almost impossible. So that, of course, uh, our women, not all, 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 of course, would like to change, you know, re their refugee status and start to live normal family life. So our women still, even during the war, eager to have stability. Definitely such decisions push them to start looking for a foreign husband abroad. And the easiest way and the safest, I would say, is to register at matchmaking companies. Especially uh, that is, you know, that's free absolutely for all females. Some women will find the men um, abroad, I mean, by themselves, at work, neighborhood, gym, in the supermarket, whenever actually. Some will be tired from inappropriate molestations of local guys because a lot of foreign guys, you know, they have this stereotype that all our girls, like Natasha, right, like easy and cheap. So it's always better for our women, it's always better to find at once the checked, you know, foreign guy with serious intentions. You know, no dancing around, no games playing. In this case, guys, you again should be careful because the reason of the actions, of these actions of our ladies, of our Ukrainian women, will be defined by desperation again. The desire to improve love conditions again, as it was before war, to stay abroad for the rest of the life and to be under the protection of local serious guy who can provide stability, accommodation, social security, provision for kids, education for kids. Anyway, you will feel much better than you're just refugee because some ladies, some women who really dreamt to stay abroad, to move abroad, they understand that refugee status is just a temporary status, temporary position. And when the war will be over, probably most of these people will be shot out of the country. And we know such examples. So that's why, guys, in this case, you also should understand, while choosing and communicating with Ukrainian woman who is already abroad or maybe just plans to move in the nearest future to any foreign country, even if you find her at a very good matchmaking company in the database or you found her by herself, first of all, it's the priority to check and clarify her motives reasons and goals in order not to become just the bridge between the Ukrainian reality and the dream country for beautiful Ukrainian women. So guys, that's actually, that's all. I don't want to uh, bug you with two long stories. I guess uh, all answers you can get better uh, during my commenting your questions. So actually, you know my, you know my attitude. Of course, that's the right time for you to become active and to start do really and make some steps and to demonstrate some activity. Because for you guys, for foreign guys, that's the golden time to get your dream Ukrainian wife. But as I said, you should be double careful because as it was before, what mostly pushes our women to go abroad to look for foreign husband. Poverty, financial non-stability, the attitude of local Ukrainian guys, right? Their opinion, the mindset that foreign, European, Western, American guys are better husbands than Ukrainian ones. Of course, bad experience here with local guys. So all those factors actually pushed our ladies to look for foreign husband before war. Now it's another reason. A lot of couples actually divorced. They are apart. Uh, I read some posts in psychological groups when really wives of soldiers, some of them whose couple were really strong, they really have like a, you know, another refreshment of, uh, of the relationship, right? 